Welcome to video nine of the Beginner Guitar Quick Start series. In this lesson, we're gonna go over the remaining two chords that you need to know to play the song at the end of this series. These two chords are G major, open G major, and the open D major chord shapes. You're gonna be using these all the time in your guitar career. Now, remember everything we learned in the last lesson about fretting hand technique. Relax, pretend like you're holding an apple, keep your thumb behind the fretboard on the back of the neck, come right down on the very tips of your fingers, Relax there and right behind the frets too. Remember all those things. All right, let's get going with a D major, an open D major. And if you look on the chord diagram, you're gonna see X's above the E and the A strings. So that's telling you to leave those notes out of this chord completely, completely right? Okay, let's get our first finger on the second fret of the G string. That's a good place to start. You're gonna get a one right behind the fret, come right down on the very tip of your finger. Second finger is gonna grab the second fret of the high E string, and your third finger is gonna grab the third fret of the B string. Those are the three notes that you wanna get. And this chord is a little bit harder just because you have to scrunch your fingers up in such a small area, and you don't want particularly this third finger brushing up against this high E string or the G string right there. So take your pick and strum just through the top four strings. If your chord sounds like this, make sure that third finger is coming right down on the tip. So again, go through the whole process of getting this chord committed to memory. Take it off all the way, put it on. If it takes you a while to get it there, that's fine. Take it off, put it on. Remember what it looks like. Remember what it feels like too. So that's your D major chord, your open D major chord. One tip that I wanna give you right here, just as a little bonus, is if you haven't had your guitar set up by a professional, I'd really recommend doing it. It's only 20 or 30 bucks. And if you're struggling, if your guitar is hard to play, it's totally worth it. It'll make your guitar easier playing and you're practicing and learning a lot more enjoyable. All right, let's move on to the open G major chord. And this is probably the hardest chord of the beginning guitar quick start series. You'll see why. There's gonna be two ways that I'm gonna show you how to play this chord. One way uses the first, second, and third fingers. The second way uses the second, third, and fourth fingers. I really recommend this way using the second, third, and fourth fingers. I'll show you why later, but let's learn the actual shape first. Okay, a lot of beginners tend to learn a G using the first, second, and third fingers, this shape. So get your second finger on the third fret of the low E string right behind the fret, first finger, second fret of the A string, and your third finger is gonna come grab the third fret of the high E string. In this open G chord, you can strum all six strings. So that's a way that a lot of beginners learn, but I would really recommend that you use your second, third, and fourth fingers. I'll show you how to do that right now. Put your third finger on the third fret of the low E string. Second finger is gonna grab the second fret of the A string, and your pinky, your weak pinky, is gonna grab the third fret of the high E string. Same exact shape, different fingers used to make the chord. The reason I recommend using your second, third, and fourth fingers to make this chord is because a G to a C is a really common change for the guitar. And check this out, if I make it with my first, second, and third fingers and switch to a C, that's a huge mo movement that I have to make. If I make that G with my second, third, and fourth fingers, I don't have to, the change isn't that big. It's a lot easier to get to that, and it's a lot faster too. So go through that same process for learning that G chord. Put it on, take it off, remember what it looks like, what it feels like, all of that. Many guitar players struggle with changing chords smoothly. That's probably one of the biggest challenges for newer guitar players. And one of the reasons for that is they don't learn their chord shapes they're working on 100% before they start trying to switch between chords. So learn these chords to where you can go right to them on their own before trying to switch between like a G and a C chord, right? When you don't learn a chord really thoroughly, what you're gonna do is compound the challenge of switching between chords, and that makes it really frustrating for you. So once you have two chord shapes down, for example, a G and a C, 
What you want to do is try to visualize the chord you're going to switch to before you actually need to go there so you have a better chance of hitting it. So if I'm playing a G, I want to visualize that C before I actually need to move there. So in preparation for the next lesson, what you should do is just take two chords at a time. Don't try to switch it between all four. So if you have just your A minor seven and your C, just practice switching between those two. Once you have those two down, you may want to practice just switching between your A minor seven and your D. Remember to try and visualize the chord you're going to move to before you actually need to go there. So try to work on your chord transitions multiple times throughout the day so you can train your muscles and they have a better chance of remembering what's going on and switching between all these chords, right? Get ready for the next lesson because we're going to learn the song that I promised, like I said. If you have any questions on this G or D major chord, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you or you can email me nate at guitarsystem.com. See you.